Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are having a great day. Today we are looking at a new browser in the market called Ula and we are going to compare it with other browsers. So this is a privacy first browser and it is based on the Chromium and more focused on the privacy of the users. So let's uh, check this out. Uh, this is my first time looking at the browser as well, but I have done my research. So uh, let's get started. Uh, this is the first time I'm setting this up as well. So let's see, we have five modes in here. We have the work mode, the developer mode, the personal mode, the open season mode, and the kids mode. You can set any of these modes as default. Let's go with the personal mode for now. Um, you can give your profile a name. Like this and click on continue. Next up, we have Kids Mode Parent and Control, which is a really good feature to uh, take control of the privacy and make sure that your kids are safe. So you can set the password here, click on continue. Then you have the privacy protection level, and this is my personal favorite feature and the main selling feature of this browser as well. It is really good at the uh, privacy uh, protection. So you have the standard level which gives you the basic privacy with ad blocking, uh, tracking and analytics blocking, uh, malicious software blocking, phishing prevention and resource abuse blocking. Then we have the extreme level where you can also uh, choose the stealth mode and you can uh, block the search ads and self-motion, URL tracking and cookie blocking. I personally prefer this one. You can set the dashboard here. You can either use a minimal dashboard or you can use the smart dashboard. Click on continue and choose the browser theme. I really like the initial steps. So for anyone who doesn't have any experience with you know, advanced settings of the browser, they can set everything up right here. In other browsers, it's just you know, install and use. Here you can first set the setup. Click on continue. And right now we have the search engine. So by default, the Ula browser has DuckDuckGo, which is famous for its privacy, but you can change it to any other search engine. So for now, let's go to the Google um, and click on continue. Finally, it will give you the option to import the browser data. So you can browse, uh, you can import the data from the browsers in your uh, machine. I'm gonna skip it for now. And finally, it will uh, ask you or give you the option to sign in to the uh, Zoho. And you can add more features by signing in like uh, advanced phishing protection and many more uh, AI based features. For now, I'm gonna skip it and we are now in the personal mode. So because this is based in uh, based on Chromium, you can uh, instantly recognize the Chrome-based design. So you can uh, see the design is similar to the Chrome. Now let's talk about some of the features of the Ula browser. First thing first, it has a multi-tier ad blocking. So it has the tracking prevention and malware protection, and it is really good at it. I will say it is comparable to the Brave browser. It also has a 24 hour security patch policy, which is my personal favorite feature. So it is the fastest in the industry. So if there is any uh, you know, security issue, they will uh, release a patch within 24 hours. And one of the coolest feature about the Eula browser is the auto resetting of the browser IDs. So it keeps refreshing the browser IDs so that uh, you know, prevents the tracking of your uh, device. It also has the motion sensor blocking to prevent the fingerprinting of your device. And it also disables the DNS prefetching. One of my personal favorite feature is the screen sense and the privacy report. So based on your use of the websites, how you browse on your uh, Ula browser, you can see how much time you spend. You can further click on it and look at the data. So for example, if I go to a website, like YouTube, and then uh, refresh the dashboard, you can see the time right here. Okay, so it's a really cool feature to analyze how much time you are spending on different websites. It also shows you how many malwares and other uh, phishing attacks or ads it has blocked. 
right? So you can see all the data here, right? So it has blocked these trackers, for example. So what happens is when you search for a website, let's search for um, any website, So it strips down all the tracking from the URLs. If you look at the uh, search on other browsers like the Chrome, if I search for Twitter here, you can see a long link which has the tracking as well. Meanwhile here, it removes all the tracking in the URL. Another cool feature is the modes. So you have all these modes right here. First off, you have the uh, personal mode, of course, which we are using right now. It gives you the um, ability to you know, securely browse your website. So it is good for personal use, like if you are using it for banking, streaming, or any other personal use, you can use this mode. We also have a developer mode, which is my personal favorite, because I can uh, add the extensions um, right here, right? So you can add all these extensions and further use the inbuilt tools in your uh, development process. So for website developers and coders, this is a really good uh, option as well. So you can, for example, use the filter options on any website. So if I go to YouTube, for example, I can go to the blurred vision i can see how my website will look in the dark mode i can uh, check the accessibility using these options right you can reduce the contrast and many more things right so it is a really good feature for developers like i can see the layout as well so a very good feature for uh, the developers then we have the kids mode and uh, for this you have to enter the password so basically if you go to the uh, browser here you have the option to add a new incognito window but if you go to the kids mode you have to first add the password click on login and now you are in kids mode so all the websites here are related to the kids and you cannot uh, create an incognito window in the kids mode so that's a good uh, option for parental control you have all the features uh, you can block the websites and do much more things to exit you have to enter the password again right so um, it is a really good browser overall for privacy and personal use it will uh, make sure that you get your work done uh, talking about work, we have a work mode as well. In this mode, there is a stricter control on the ad blocking and privacy. So it makes sure that you have minimal distraction, right? So in the work mode, you won't show up any uh, ads or any tracking or anything else. It will focus mostly on the productivity of your work. We also have another mode, which is the open season. In this mode, there are no restriction on your browsing. And that's why it is all red to give you a warning. So if you go to the website like uh, Google here and search for anything, it will show up the entire uh, link here. So it is not blocking any tracking, any ads or anything, right? You will see every single thing in this mode. In terms of performance, because this browser is based on Chromium, you can find it uh, powerful, fast, and uh, easy to browse. Like your experience in the browsing will be much better. So for example, I can go to a website and you can see that the browsing experience is really good. The colors in the browser are also good. I can um, find the colors to be much more detailed. They are a bit pixelated, I would say, but in terms of uh, the quality, I'm pretty much happy, right? So unless you are uh, looking at some very high quality videos or images, you won't feel any difference. The color balance is really good. You can also uh, 
sign into the Zoho account and use more features based on AI. So you have more uh, control on your data. You have the Zia AI integration, which is the Zoho's AI assistant. So that provides the phishing detection, smart web uh, categorization, and the tab uh, organization automatically. So that's more advanced feature and much better uh, features in the Ulla browser. You also have the smart dashboard, as I showed you before. One of the best things is that you can use the Chrome extensions. Because this is based on Chrome, you can actually use the extensions from Chrome here. So you can see that it has the Chrome Web Store and you can use all the extensions. So if you want to add any extensions here, you can easily do that. The memory use of the Ula browser is also small, so you will find that it doesn't take too much RAM. And they have improved the software over the time and the current version is actually very light. So basically they have taken the uh, Chrome browser and stripped down all the data tracking and everything related to the privacy issues. All right, so now you have a much better uh, browser and much more control on your privacy. Overall, I can see that this browser is much better compared to many other browsers, and I can see it, uh, its use in my personal uh, you know, Windows operating system. But yeah, you can try the browser yourself and let me know what you think about the browser. I will drop the link in the description. Um, it is available for, uh, I believe, most devices. Let's see, uh, this is the personal website. Yeah, so you have it for the Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS as well. So you can use uh, the browser yourself and let me know what you think about it. I will keep using it. This is my first time as well. Um, I will use it for a few days and give a full review either on my website or on the channel. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.